Hello, it's Sarah. And I just got back from Staples. I told you guys there would be something that would come along that would take me away from the clay. And this is it. It's Pocket Pals and they're not called Pocket Pals. Pocket Letters. Sorry, Pocket Letters. And they've just started. It's something that's all over supposedly. I don't do Instagram, but people are saying they're seeing a lot of it on Instagram. Um, but it's basically a pen pal, um, a way to communicate uh, via snail mail. And you use these little trading card pages. They're the 12 sheet, it's a sheet protector for baseball cards right here. See the baseball cards in there? 3609, oh, not 12, nine little baseball cards. So ATCs, this is what I keep my ATCs into, these type of um, sleeves. So what happened was Jeanette Lane, she actually has a blog I'm going to put the information in the description box, but she kind of started it as a way to um, do pen pals, pen pals. So the whole idea is to just kind of decorate this page with decorative papers, make it real pretty, and then you can stuff the pockets with anything you want, really. She actually has a video on her page. It's Jeanette Lane, um, her YouTube channel, I mean where she has a template. So you have little something that you want to kind of put in each pocket. And she loves stationery. She's kind of like one of the, um, the what are they called? The planner, you know, the planners, people who love their planners and stuff. So you always have sticky notes for that, washi tape, all those types of things. Um, so that's what she fills her pockets with. Um, you can put, oh, and a letter. One of them has to have a letter. There's things like, um, I think she does a tag that she puts questions on. So sort of kind of just like basic questions like your favorite color, favorite movie, restaurant, things like that. Um, and that way you can get to know some basic things quickly about your pen pal. Um, and what I loved about it is I personally am not really good at communication in general. Like I don't um, call. I'm not a phone person. Like I don't sit on the phone for hours and just chat. I don't. I don't know why. I've just never been that way, um, and I get in trouble for it. <laughs> uh, so for me, what I was thinking was, I personally would love to get to know some of my subscribers. I don't know how I'm going to do this because. You know, I post videos, so you see me on YouTube, you've heard my voice, you know some things about me already, you know I have a dog and my granddaughter mine, you've seen us in my house, what it looks like, a little bit my craft room, so you know a lot about me um, just from seeing me on YouTube, but I don't know you guys. I know um, you're very encouraging and you um, feel inspired by my videos, which I love, and um, I have done much better at replying to your comments. I said that I was going to do that, and I have. Um, but I would love to receive some mail from you guys, some uh, pocket letters, letting me know some things about you. Some, um, You know what? And that may even help me kind of figure out videos for you guys. Who's into what? Your favorite craft. Maybe that would be a good question. You know, what is your main type of craft that you like? Things like that. So, I don't know. It just got me thinking. Um, I'm going to probably make a few up. Just different, all different styles. Um, I don't have a lot of the stationary items. Like, I'm not, I don't have a lot of paper. People are putting paper clips and all types of things cutesy things, but I might put maybe little um, embellishments or things that I have. I'm going to go through my stash and figure it out. Um, maybe little beaded things. I don't know. I'm going to figure out what I can do. Lolly Palooza. Lolly has some fantastic videos up at the moment showing her um, uh, pocket letters. She did a cute little um, Hello Kitty one. And then she also has stitched with her sewing machine. And the same with Miss D. Miss D has some type of a, um, it's like a, a what do I want to say? A soldering gun almost that can solder the plastic. So you can put little beads and um, Lolly's putting sequins and making little shakers in here. So cute. So many creative things that you guys are doing. And I just couldn't, I couldn't help it. They're super cute and fun. 
it's basically you make nine little ATCs. I mean, um, and then you know who else had a really great one was um, Paige. Paige, Paige, Paige. What is your name on YouTube? Uh, her blog spot is She Who Must Stamp. Oh, I can't think of a page, but anyway, she just took a piece of um, 12 by 12 paper and put it into sections and kind of that was her background paper and then she added cut aparts and stuff really looked cute really adorable um so so much creativity can be put into these i actually this was a dollar believe it or not so i got myself some green envelopes they all fit in when you fold up this page let me see if i can open this real quick there's a lot of videos out there guys on these so please go check them out don't this isn't Please don't ask me about them. Go look at Jeanette's site. Um, but this is basically what I, I just wanted to throw the idea out there. So you take, after you've done it, and you fold it like this, and then it fits into a, this is a size 10 envelope. It fits into a size 10 envelope. So that's what you do. You send your snail mail that way. So I just picked the green envelopes. There's 10 in here, but I spent, this was a dollar, this binder. So I got the green binder so I know where my um, pocket letters will be. We'll see how it goes. I hope someone's interested in sending me some pocket letters. I think I'll put my address in the description box. I think I'm going to add it as well. A lot of people use P.O. boxes, and my husband might not like it that I'm putting my address, but uh, I think I might put my address. I'm not really afraid. Anywho, uh, <laughs> um but uh i i don't know i just think that it's a great way to get to to know some of my subscribers who don't make videos and i don't really get to know that much about you guys i mean i know that you're very lovely and sweet to leave me comments everybody leaves such lovely comments by the way i really appreciate it oh by the way speaking of which uh callie black on youtube miss callie sent me some goodies. Didn't need to, Cal. I just wanted you to have those um, sprays for your journaling, your art journals. But look what she sent me. Look at this. Mica powders. Pearl X mica powders. I don't have the orange. I don't have the salmon. I don't have a lot of these colors. The gold pink. Oh my god, I can't wait to see what these look like on clay. Um, and look at this. The little fairy earrings. And, you know, Callie, I don't know, you know, what you're thinking, babe. They're super cute, though. I should put these on. Love them. Oh, my God. You didn't really have to, Cal. Um, I appreciate it, though. I love it. Love, love, love it. Happy mail. Um, oh, so the next video coming up, I'm going to be doing, um, talk about my Etsy shop. But listen, anyone who wants to leave a message, I would love to get a pocket letter from you guys and I would send one back I'm gonna try boy if everybody sends me one see that's crazy but that's okay you know what I love it it keeps me busy it's creative it's crafty I love it so like I said refer to other YouTube videos um, like I said Lolly takes and then there's another um, Sherbert Inc I'll put that in the in the description box as well she does an awesome start to finish with hers what she's putting in hers and they're adorable so um, I told you there'd be something that would take me away from my clay, but, um, I think these are super cool. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.